Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Tropical Forecast here by Adrian Weather Forecast. In this video, we have major updates compared to what we did last uh, video earlier today. We now have a very strong Hurricane Douglas here in the Eastern Pacific, seeing it at here as a Category 1 hurricane. Very organized and also has a defined eye. Also, potentially, maybe Hurricane Gonzalo by tomorrow morning as well. So, major developments. Maybe two hurricanes, one for the Pacific and one for the Atlantic. And also, major updates on Invest 91L may form extremely soon. So, maybe Hannah very soon as well. So, really, the tropics for both oceans are really getting a lot more, uh, as you can say, tropical. And also, we just have major updates here on the uh, just winds, on the intensity guidance, satellite imagery. Also, going to be taking a look at whether these storms can strengthen and all of that. Before we begin the video, please check out the, the, Discord, the Discord in the description below. The Weather Expo. Smash the like button if you really enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so to show your awesome support. Thank you guys all so much for all the support we've been getting the past couple of days. It's actually absolutely crazy. We're almost at 2,600 subscribers. Absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you guys so much. Also, be sure to the post notification icon as well so you get notified as soon as I post a video. With that for you, let's go to the tropical forecast. So here's a look at the National Hurricane Center. Here you have Tropical Storm Gonzalo sitting here at 50 miles an hour on the 5th advisory. Already strengthening a lot more as this moisture bubble does enclose, keeping out the dry air. Possibly going to make it uh, strengthen a lot more, possibly before landfall in the lesser until this is exactly why we can maybe have a hurricane by tomorrow. A huge outburst of it just strengthening. So it's it's still 14 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. Oh, sorry, 25 miles an hour from that hurricane force wind extent for category one. So it'll be it'll be very interesting how fast things strengthen. Very favorable SST, no shear whatsoever. Dryer is getting kept out by this moisture bubble. So it seems favorable for this to become a hurricane by tomorrow. Look, this sitting at a thousand millibars. Just in the last video, it was at a thousand three. So this is showing exactly how much the thing is strengthening here. Trials from Gonzalo, maybe Hurricane Gonzalo by tomorrow. And then we have disturbance here, number one at a 90% chance now for the next five days at a very high probability for formation and an 80% chance for the next 48 hours. Like I said, this is going to really form extremely soon, maybe by tonight, very soon. Also, the EPAP or uh, Eastern Pacific, here we have Hurricane Doug's at 70 knots here at 80 miles an hour. So this thing is quite a strong storm, really. 989 millibar central pressure, minimal central pressure. The deep and decent nights of storm, really absolutely crazy. And it obviously, maybe a threat for Hawaii here. We have a key message here. Douglas is expected to move near or over portion of the Hawaiian Islands this weekend. And there's an increased chance that strong wind and heavy rainfall could affect portions of the state beginning on Sunday. In interest on the Hawaiian Islands should continue to monitor the progress of Douglas and the official forecast as they evolve over the next days. So really, this thing could very well be heading towards the Hawaiian Islands. And as you check those wind extents here, the wind probabilities here. For tropical plus force winds. Look at this thing has 100% uh, all the way up right here. And this will extend as it gets near the Hawaiian Islands. So really a close call for Hawaii. Really, this could be very well, extremely interesting. Let me just tell you that. Very interesting. If it does affect Hawaii, that would be actually absolutely crazy to have that. But look at Hurricane Douglas. Look how organized the system is. Look at that eye right here. That's beautiful extremely well-defined eye right there obviously it's not the most defined eye we've seen in the history of hurricanes but it's extremely organized look at this all these outer bands this thing is extremely organized very dense cloud cover and here you have the eye wall very extremely dense cloud cover and the low pressure right there that is a very well-defined july eastern pacific hurricane look how it's just it's it doubled in size within just the past coming hours just things continue to strengthen look at it not too long ago it did have a very well-defined eye really it was small but now look at this storm absolutely crazy let's go check out water vapor this is gonna be absolutely mental on water vapor just look at that vorticity this vorticity is absolutely mental at this point just look at this look at that beautiful vorticity absolutely mental this vorticity look at the water vapor this thing's absolutely crazy for a category one a hurricane i definitely see this becoming a major hurricane category three even after hurricane center shows that 
And just look at the long uh, long wave IR. Just things just absolutely just a mental of a storm, really. Just look at this storm. I know it's not like a category five or a category uh, four or anything. It's category one, yes, but it's, it's very well defined looking category one hurricane. It really is very well defined, extremely organized. It's just absolutely crazy how organized this storm is. As we now check out the Conan timing, as you see, major hurricane possibly by early tomorrow. So major uploads for tomorrow without a doubt this thing could become a major hurricane we're gonna have hurricane gonzalo tomorrow we're gonna have many things likely for tomorrow possibly invest in anyone else will be formed by now so by then so it's extremely impressive how just tomorrow just it's just gonna blow up everything major hurricane possible tomorrow look at all those tr strong tropical storm force extents has to update to hurricanes but look it's possibly going straight over the big island of hawaii so really something really to keep in mind it could make landfall as a category one most likely and then it weakens the tropical storm after but hawaii's in the dead center eye for this storm obviously we've we've learned from the past that storms that hurricanes that head towards hawaii change last minute but really honestly it's 2020. I do see a hurricane landfall for Hawaii. I know it's not an excuse, but I do see it happening, really. This thing going to become a major hurricane. It won't be a major hurricane if it does make landfall. It will be a hurricane, though. And this thing's just going to be absolutely crazy and mental. This hurricane, uh, Hurricane Doug, is absolutely just crazy here on this, uh, just on the National Hurricane Center satellite imagery. Here's a mall track. As you see, not a single model, except like one or two, should avoiding Hawaii. Like all the malls, every single, almost 98% of the malls should be affecting uh, Hawaii, whether it's the big island or the big top island out there. So really, either way, it does show it affecting the Hawaiian islands, no matter if it's Honolulu, if it's Waikiki Beach, if it, if it, I don't know, anywhere in the big island, anywhere, anywhere in the Hawaiian islands definitely has to be on the lookout for Hurricane Douglas. Obviously, uh, this is a huge uh, surprise by this huge surprise for Hurricane Douglas to possibly reach a major hurricane status. And let's go and check it out. This hurricane status possibly becoming a category three by the next 12 uh, or sorry, next 18 hours, really. So, next 18 to 24 hours is when it will get to that category three for its extent. And malls want to show it getting to a category four, extremely close to a category four. So, this is going to be a very interesting play out. Let me just tell you that extremely interesting play out on this. But let's go and check out now the models on Douglas, and then we'll take a look at now also Gonzalo. So as you see, the next six hours, this thing could very well be at 972 millibars as minimal central pressure. That's a huge drop. Like I said, this thing can go from Category 1 right now to a Category 3 tomorrow. So this thing is going to drop in central pressure just a ton. And look at this, possibly getting as far as 971 millibars here. Uh, that'll be for the next 18 hours, and then it starts to straighten a little bit. But obviously, this thing's going to be decently strong as it does head to Hawaii, possibly making landfall as 995 millibars in between the big island and also the second island there. And that's going to bring catastrophic flooding for portions of Hawaii. Let's go and check out that Hawaii right here for the total precipitation. Let's just check out that precipitation later on. But absolutely crazy. Let's go and check out now the uh, the 10 meter winds where this thing's going to be mental, really. If you look at the winds, so this is actually now the past 36 hours. Let's go right now. Look at this storm. It's a very small but extremely strong force wind. Uh, possibly expecting very soon, maybe up to now, uh, seven, uh, up to possibly 78 knots next six hours. And then next 84 or 18 hours, this thing can very well possibly get up to 85 knots. So this thing is a very small, as you can tell, kind of small. But obviously, it's going to be a very strong storm. This thing is going to be... Uh, kind of weakening slowly but surely and pause make landfall at 66 knots. So this it will still be a just ca borderline category one a hurricane really. So this is going to be making most likely into the second island there uh, for Hawaii. So here's a look now at the uh, tropical storm Gonzalo style imagery. As you see, it's getting overnight, so it's kind of losing visibility here. But here's the last look at it as the day. As you see, it still has that uh, kind of outer band look. Kind of like that, and they're low pressure. And still has yet to really uh, kind of define an eye wall, really, necessarily water vapor. Looking pretty impressive, though. Look at that water vapor. Looking decently impressive, really. Look, that's a nice amount. You can see it's definitely strengthening in water vapor, for sure. Looking a lot, uh, looking very intense. Uh, you can definitely see the vorticity starting to strengthen uh, with the next coming of 
next many hours here. But let's go check out uh, all the model and also the code and timing and all that. So as you see, let's refresh to see if anything updated. See, as you see, uh, possibly a hurricane by tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon. Uh, you see, it's really small, tropical storm force wind extent. This is very expected to be a tropical storm as it makes landfall in the Lesser Antilles, maybe just south of Barbados, and then possibly even heading towards the areas towards maybe either south of Jamaica, maybe just like that. And really, to track exactly where it's going to go after that's really n it's not super duper 100% really. Because obviously, some malls are showing that uh, maybe possibly like, like that, or it could go like this. That's kind of the two possibilities of what's going to do necessarily so it's going to be that that's going to be very important whether it's havana maybe the eastern gulf and maybe big cities like mobile or pentacola or we're just going to hit the big air like cancun and then kind of fall apart from there in the bay of campeche that's kind of the two uh, kind of scenarios of where this can go here are the mall tracks i used to see some tracks even he so hitting making landfall on the far western tip of haiti and it's going to get very close to that Venezuela coast and Colombia coast, but don't see uh, anything really that's going to mess it up other than the Lesser Antilles, but that won't do much. But the next 72 hours, possibly, a landfall in the Lesser Antilles. From there, really, that's when the models start to separate a lot. It goes from very close model touch to now extending out. So really, it can go from hitting Cuba to going straight to this, just straight the whole time all the way up into the Cancun area, which is like I'm saying, there's, it's still not a huge uh, guarantee of where it's going to go. A lot more malls are now showing this getting to a hurricane force extent within the next 24 hours here. So that would be kind of tomorrow evening most likely, but it could obviously turn a curveball. And a lot more malls are now showing it getting to a very strong category 1, if not weak category 2. So this would be a very interesting play out here on how this actually works out and whether it could be maybe become a major hurricane. But that will be something we need to watch out for slowly. So here's a look at the vorticity. I you see that vorticity since you're on going to extremely strong right there. Very, very strong and tight, uh, really well-defined vorticity signature there. As he's looking to strengthen very soon in the next 48 hours, I think it's obviously very obvious. And then going to possibly affect the Lesser Antilles here. Now as you continue to follow this very closely, going to be heading to that area of the uh, Haiti area right there. And possibly make landfall in the Haiti area. And look where it shows it now going, possibly in the middle of the Gulf. Right there. So basically, if we're following this very right, it's kind of showing like this. Really, that's kind of what we're getting from this. That's kind of what we're getting on the on the GFS model there. Uh, and obviously, here we have Invest 91L as well. But really, I'll talk about that when it once it forms. Really, because we have many topics, and I don't want this video to be extremely long. But I can just briefly talk about 91L. Uh, as you see, look at the 91L right there. Nice vortex, nice vortex signature. And then she's making landfall just near the the Corpus Christi area. Now let's go check out now the Eastern Pacific here to check out now the um or sorry Central Pacific to check out this uh, storm here. Obviously, uh, Hurricane Ga uh, Hurricane Douglas. Look at this, look at this huge vortex signature compared to now Gonzalo. Look at that. Gonna head straight for the Hawaiian Islands. Look, look at that right next 72 hours. This thing's gonna be a massive storm extremely tight rotation and uh, nice vorticity really that's gonna go straight between the big island there and near i believe the maui area that the uh, the second island there just under the big island's gonna go straight and go straight through the hawaiian islands and it's not like gonna be like as most of the hurricanes that uh show hit in hawaii go like either like this very close for first or like this but this is going dead center right dead center hawaii between the islands, so that's the only thing I don't see changing that much. Let's check it out relative humidity here. As you see, it has developed its moisture bubble, continuing to make it strengthen a lot. Next six hours, so it could be at 995 millibars, so really big uh, strengthening. Look at this. Next 30 hours could be at 992 millibars, can possibly drop at 987 millibars, so very well could see a hurricane. And look at this dryer is not going to be a threat, really. This is now going to continue to move towards the Caribbean here. A thousand millibars. Icebergs are extremely close, which means obviously uh, the stronger the wind. And this moisture is going to take it into the Gulf until really that dryer kind of takes over, really. Now it's going to check out now the Central Pacific here. Uh, the Central Pacific here. And as you see, let me actually move a little bit more in the next 24 hours. And the moisture on this storm is absolutely mental. Do not have, you do not have to worry about it at all. About any dryer in this in this path of this, this is going to obviously go straight towards the Hawaiian Islands. The only reason why this will be weakening is because dryer will start to get into it. But if this this thing looked like this, 
uh, right before the Hawaiian Islands, it could have been a category, it could have been a major hurricane if it made landfall in Hawaii, and this would go straight over the Hawaiian Islands at 996 millibars, and then fall apart as drier, just take it over. Now, wind shear as well, no, no wind shear at all in the tropical Atlantic for Gonzalo. Here it is at 999 millibars within the next six hours. See, not really any shear to take it over, really, necessarily. There's, like, no shear in the tropical Atlantic, even into the western Atlantic, as it does move eastward, or sorry, west. We're not really any shear. It's going to be possibly 30, 35 knots, but that won't be impressive enough to actually make this one actually kind of fall apart, necessarily. Sam is going to check it now. The Central Pacific here as well, the next... Uh, 18 hours as you see there's not gonna be too much here whatsoever uh, only around just less than 30 knots which is not enough to really take down a category one hurricane necessarily and this is just gonna have a little shear now up to 40 knots now and then kind of sure this take it apart later on and then last thing we'll be looking at the precipitation right here here we have Gonzalo right here in the next six hours 995 mi 999, 999 millibars Next 36 hours by July 24th, it'll be as strong as that 980 millibars. And then it's going to wreck through the Lesser Antilles. Bar Bar Barbados, you guys might want to be able to look at as well. And that can very well possibly be hit in between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. And then possibly at that point, just go in the middle of the Gulf. So really, we, we kind of have a better idea where it's going to go, but still not 100%, obviously. And now, as we check now the um, Eastern or Central uh, Pacific, here you have the next 24 hours at 996 millibars. Millibars, this monster, possibly major hurricane at that point, and that's going to bring catastrophic flooding for Hawaii. It's going to check out that total cumulative precipitation. Though that pause going to bring up to seven to eight inches. I definitely guarantee a lot more, but it's so far out that I can't guarantee that to a foot. But as of now, possibly nine inches of rain, which is absolutely mental, it's absolutely crazy. But that's that. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please be sure to subscribe if you're new, and, and bye, guys.